The Scorpion Exo Air One Evo Carbon is a new sport race helmet from the brand Scorpion. It is a successor to the Scorpion Exo Air One Air Carbon. We gave this helmet to our rider to see how this helmet performed out on the road and he came back with a lot of interesting data, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, Timo with Champion Helmets here and welcome to our channel. Here in front of me I have the new full face helmet by Scorpion, the Exo Air One Evo Carbon. This new high-end racing helmet has a new 2206 certification, which is becoming mandatory on newly designed helmets. At Champion Helmets we test all helmets out on the road to find out if statements made by the manufacturers are true. To make these reviews we put a lot of time and effort in these reviews with just one goal. To give you guys an honest review based on facts instead of opinions and marketing language. So, if you guys appreciate all the effort and time we put in these videos, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you guys keep getting these reviews and road tests. And before we go deeper into the specifications and performance out on the road, first some general points of the EXO Air One EVO Carbon. The Air One EVO starts at a retail price of about 470 euros or US dollar, has a more oval fit and comes with a titanium double D ring. The EXO Air One EVO Carbon will compete with the AGV PC GPRR, Shui X SPR Pro, Bellray Star DLX, X Lite X. 803 RS Ultra Carbon, Shark Razor Pro GP, Roof Arrow 200 Carbon, Icon Airfare Pro, AGC RV1 and the Arai RX7 EVO. Ok great, let's start the review with the material part. The Air One EVO Carbon is made out of carbon fiber, which is the best quality material helmets are made of. And carbon helmets are usually the lightest helmets available, but more on the weight of the helmet later in this video. The helmet comes in 6 sizes and 3 out of shell sizes, which is a good amount of shell sizes. The more out of shell sizes the helmet has, the better. A helmet with more out of shell size looks better and more compact but is also safer. And if we add everything up we see that the Air One earns 4 stars for the material part which is a great start. But how does it do if we take a look at its competitors? If we compare it to its competitors we see that it scores the same amount of stars as most of the helmets we have mentioned at the beginning of the video. Only the Pisa GPR arm and the Raystar DLX did better with 4.5 and 5 stars thanks to the more out of shell sizes. So a solid start for the Exo Air One Evo Carbon. But how did it do on other criteria? We move on with the weight of the helmet, which is an important part. A lighter helmet prevents fatigue in the neck and improves the riding experience. And when we weigh the EXO Air One in a size M, the scale indicated 1437 grams, which is a nice result. Newly designed helmets with the 2206 certification are on the heavier side compared to the older 2205 certified helmets. This is because more materials are used to pass this test. Most helmets weigh between 1400 and 1550 grams and earn 4 stars. However, there are two helmets that are lighter and the most interesting result is the Roof Arrow 200 Carbon, which only has a weight of 1104 grams and is the lightest helmet we have ever weighed. The most disappointing result was the Airframe Pro with a weight of almost 1700 grams and resulted in one star. So again, a solid result by the EXO Air One EVO Carbon. With the material and weight out of the way, we move on to the visor. The visor of the EXO Air One EVO Carbon is a good quality 2D visor that is anti-scratch treated and pinhook lens prepared. The visor offers a wide field of view and the 2D shape ensures that the visor does not distort, which more curved visors sometimes do. This is a feature that we see on few high-end racing helmets. The pinlock lens is also included in the box and is a 120 max vision pinlock lens, which is something we like to see. The pinlock lens ensures that your visor never fucks up while riding. Another nice extra you get when you buy this helmet is the extra free dark smoke visor, which is a nice bonus. And if we add everything up, we see that the helmet by Scorpion earns an outstanding 4.5 stars for the visor part. And if we weigh in the competition, we see that they did very well and is at the top with the Raystar DLX and the Shui X SPR Pro. And defeats all other competitors on this part. So very well done by Scorpion. And now that we are done this video, let's see how it performed out on the road. Before we start with the road test, let's have a quick look at how we collect our data. On the left side you see a white thermometer, displaying the inside temperature of the helmet. This is connected to a sensor inside the helmet. Above, in the middle, you see the decibel meter. This is connected to a microphone that is placed near our rider's ear. This records the sounds as our rider hears it. On the right, we see a phone that displays wind speed and outside temperature. This is connected to a wind meter mounted on our bike. In the middle, you see the dashboard of the bike showing the speed. Now that it is clear on how we collect our data, let's start with the noise of the helmet. When testing the helmet out on the road, we had a wind speed of about 120 and a riding speed of 130 km an hour. The decibel meter gave us an average of 96 decibel, which is an incredibly good result. This 96 decibel is actually the best score we have ever measured when testing helmets. 
So the XR L1 EVO Carbon can proudly call itself the quietest helmet available at this moment. If we compare it to the competition, we see that it comes out on top thanks to its extraordinary result and is followed by the Shui XS Pair Pro with a result of 99 decibel. We have to keep in mind that these are all race helmets, so the focus when designing these helmets is not on the noise, making the result even stronger. Ok, excellent, let's move on to the ventilation. When we tested the XO R1 EVO, the temperature outside was 5 degrees and if you look at the thermometer on the left, you see that the inside temperature was 7 degrees Celsius. This means that the temperature inside helmet was 2 degrees hotter compared to the outside temperature. And this earns the helmet a steady 3 stars. If we compare this to its competitors, we see that it ends almost at the bottom of the list. Only the Aero 200 Carbon and the X803 performed less with a 3 degrees difference. Other results worth mentioning are the Icon Airframe and Bell Race Star DLX, which were 1 degree cooler inside helmet and earned themselves 5 stars for the ventilation. Ok great, we have arrived at the only subjective part of this review and that is the comfort. For this part we lean on the more than 15 years of riding experience of our test rider. He has tested all the helmets we have mentioned so far so he can make the comparison like no other. The inner lining of the R1 EVO is Scorpius Quick Wick 3 liner. This is removable, washable, moisture wicking and antibacterial liner. Our test rider said that the R1 EVO carbon felt average but nice while riding compared to other high end helmets. It didn't feel the same as the Shui X SPR Pro, but nonetheless it was still comfortable. This earns the Exo R1 EVO Carbon 3 stars for comfort. If we compare this to its competitors, we see that again scored ok but ends relatively low on the list. The only helmet that earned 5 stars and is at the top of the list is the X SPR Pro. And almost every other helmet earned a great 4 stars for this part. We have to discuss one more part before looking at the total overview and this is the features. The Exo R1 EVO Carbon is tested according to the new ECE 2206 certification which has become mandatory. A unique feature you sometimes see on helmets made by Scorpion is Scorpion's air fit system. On the inside of the chin bar you have a big red button which allows you to inflate the cheek pads on either side. And the small push button next to the big red button lets you deflate the cheek pads. This unique system ensures a snug fit when the cheek pads start to feel loose. The R1 EVO is also prepared for communication system, thanks to the speaker pockets and has a cut out in the inner lining so that riders with glasses can put them on easily. If we add up everything, it earns 3 stars for the features part. If we compare this to its competitors, we see that it does great. There are 4 helmets who did just a little bit better and is on par with the Bell Race Study Licks. So a great result by the EVO Carbon once again. And now that we are done with the road test, let's have a look at the final score. Now that we have covered every part, we can add up everything and get a total overview for the final score. The R1 EVO Carbon earned 4 sizes for the material card because it is made out of carbon and comes in 3 out of shelf sizes. Because it weighed 1437 grams, it earned a great 4 sizes for the weight. And for the visor, because this pin lock lens prepared, which is included in the box, and you get a free dark smoke visor, it earned an excellent 4.5 stars. For the noise, it scored an extraordinary 5 stars thanks to an outstanding result of just 96 decibel, making it the quietest helmet we have tested so far. Furthermore, it earned 3 stars for the ventilation because the helmet was 2 degrees hotter inside the helmet compared to the outside temperature. For comfort, it earned 3 stars, and again for the features, thanks to the new 2206 certification and its unique airfit system. If we add up all the earned stars, the Exo R1 EVO Carbon earned an average of 3.8 stars, for which you pay 18 euros per earned star. This is a great final score and you get a helmet of great price quality. Would you like more information about the XO R1 EVO Carbon? Then be sure to take a look in our webshop, champinhelmets.com, where we offer the lowest price guarantee and have great discount bundles. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews, protests and guides. My name is Simon for Champion Helmets, thank you for watching and until next time.